Sweet Scorpio, thank you so much for tuning in with me for this weekly message. Please take whatever resonates, leave whatever don't. Everything may not resonate with everyone because this is a general message, not a personal. If you would like that, if you would like a personal, the information is listed in the description of this video along with so much more other information. Um, when booking a personal with me, I do not use any cards or any tools because I am a psychic medium. Um, I do psychic medium readings here in YouTube, Wednesdays and Saturdays. You can catch me live at 1 or 2 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time on Saturday. Uh, I just started a TikTok account. You could definitely follow me there. I will be providing, um, psychic medium messages there for people so definitely tune in over there it's gonna be a little different how i do things here um as far as the q a's i provide and the games it's gonna be a little different there but definitely tune in um yes and also follow me in patreon if you want to have more access to readings um as far as dailies weeklies monthlies um uh, uh um meditation sessions crystal readings uh protection and crystal messages and so much more definitely uh follow i mean join me in patreon for that but follow on tiktok for um psychic medium readings all right scorpio first of all let me put the cards down happy birthday to us happy birthday to us happy birthday to us happy birthday to us <laughs> Yes, it's our birthday. It's our birthday. It's our birthday, Scorpio. It's our birthday. <laughs> All right, y'all. So I hope you enjoy your birthday, Scorpio. I hope you enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. I don't know about you, but me, I'm not really feeling my birthday this year. It's just not, I don't know. But maybe it'll come to me once I get closer to that day. But right now, I'm just not feeling it. Um... <laughs> uh but yeah and then my son's birthday my son's birthday is the second i'm actually pre-recording this on the first um so you but you will be receiving this on the second all right scorpio let's see what's going on for you scorpio sir let's see a message for scorpio 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 Scorpio. Spirit, please show us a message for Scorpio. What is it? Hmm. All right, we have passion. We have main male. And what else, Spirit, for Scorpio? And we have communication. And we have destiny. All right, you guys. So there's a lot of hot, heated passion between you and someone or um will be okay it could be with a fair male someone could be light complected or have light hair or light eyes one or the other or all three um communication expect communication between you and this person or you could be um communicated or this person could be communicated however it's communication okay you will be communicating this is destiny this is meant to be um there could be some obstacles in a way due to this connection um as well it could be possibly because, you know, it could be another connection, but you and this person uh, have a union to join because it's spiritual. It's very spiritual. All right, so we shall see what else come through. Show us more for Scorpio. Show us more on passion. What is this passion about? Ooh, Scorpio. Passion. Show us more on this energy for Scorpio. Show us more compassion, spirit. Passion. Clarify passion. For Scorpio. Ooh, Ten of Cups. All right. Your, your fulfillment and love. Your happily ever after. This is what it is. Or this is how someone is viewing you. Um, this could be a mutual, mutual feeling. Show us more on the Ten of Cups. And passion for Scorpio. It could be with a fire sign, an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius. Okay, someone is wanting this Ten of Cups with you. You want this Ten of Cups with this person. All right, let's see this fair male. Show us more on fair male. If it's not um, a fire sign, sun sign, they can have fire sign, fire placements. Whether they're moon, they're rising, they're Venus as well. Show us more on fair male. Fair male. 
Let's get more on oh, fair male. Fair male, okay. Um, Scorpio, we have death. So it could be a Scorpio. For some of you masculine male energies, you could be dealing with a, another Scorpio or whoever. Who, okay, slow down. Someone could be dealing with whether you're male or female Scorpio. You could be dealing with another Scorpio. Or you male or female Scorpio, you could be dealing with someone who is like complected with their hair, eyes, or complexion. However, one or the other. Um, or this could be you. Show us more on death. Show us more on death. Clarify death. Death is clarified with the Queen of Wands. So this is a feminine energy. So the female could be a Scorpio. Um, but someone is very attractive. Someone is very attractive. Very some, very much a go-getter about their business. Wow, this is a match, y'all. Wait a minute. I just seen it. Uh-huh. This is your person. This is why it's destiny. It's destined to be. It's destined to be. Okay. Maybe things ended or something is transforming in this connection. Show us more on a queen of rise and a death. Show us more on this energy. The moon in reverse, okay? Something that was hidden. Maybe someone was trying to um, hold back their feelings towards you. Or this could have been you. But that's being re revealed. Or someone can't hold back any longer. Show us more on the moon. The moon in reverse. The moon is clarified with the knight of pentacles. So this is it's slow and steady wins the race. That type of energy. So this could be a slow come together. But it's meant like once it comes together, it's together forever type thing. Because that pinnacle, that knight of pentacles, it's like, uh, I'm in there to stay in there. I'm not going nowhere. Like, yeah, that knight of pentacles is steady. All right, so this could be a connection that's coming together that's going to be steady. Oh, look at the Ace of Cups. New love and follow right behind it, Six of Cups. All right, so this could be a past life soulmate connection. Yeah, you may have known each other in a past life. You and this person, uh, it could be a familiar familiar uh, connection, familiar energy. Like when you come together, if just feel like home. You may consider this person your home, like... Or this is how you feel. Yeah, this is how you feel or this is how they feel. Show us more on communication. Show us more on communication. Clarify communication. Communication. Eight of Cups. Someone, is, someone could be communicating that they're walking away. Or someone chose. Someone is. So, well, show us more. Eight of Cups. On communication. Clarify the Eight of Cups. For communication, the sun, but then it's being healed. So is this back and forth energy? Okay, walking away to come back together to heal it. All right, let's work things out. Let's talk. Let's talk now. Someone could have been closed off and now someone is wanting to open up. Someone is also gaining clarity on why someone may have walked away prior or stopped communicating. Show us more on the sun. Someone could be walking away from a Leo. Show us more on the sun. Six of Pentacles in reverse. Possibly because it was money matters involved. A money issue or something just was not. Um, there could have been an imbalance in someone's situation. It could have been also altercations, disagreements, fights. Actually chaos, chaotic energy between someone. So someone had to walk away from that in order to heal things with you. Or this is what happened between you and this person. And it's like, show us more for uh, whew. Scorpio. Some of you could be dealing with a Capricorn. I just heard Capricorn. But show us more on this energy. Wow. And then the King of Pentacles come out. Someone could have been dealing with a Capricorn. Or uh, someone could have Capricorn placements. But someone had a money issue. But they come in. They want to get the shoe. Once they money come up, they looking good. They're like, hey, look, I'm ready to talk now. I'm ready to communicate. <laughs> Someone coming from the Six of Pentacles in reverse to the King of Pentacles. Also, I'm getting like someone is choosing or someone had to walk away from a situation to gain some insights, to gain clarity about the connection to see what this was and now someone is wanting to stabilize it. Like, okay, now that I know, I'm ready to go ahead and 
you know, make this official or let me see more on the King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles for Scorpio. Five of Cups in reverse. So, yeah, they're releasing any sadness, any guilt, any shame, any, yeah, due to, like, their stability, finances, or just due to um, committing. Yeah, someone, is, someone decided to slow down. Maybe this person could have been in and out. They don't want to be in and out anymore with the uh, Knight of Wands in reverse. Yeah, they're ready to end that cycle, close out that cycle, to begin a new cycle. Show us more with the world. This person could be at a distance. Show us more with the world. Clarify the world spirit. The emperor could be an Aries. Show us more with the emperor. Clarify the emperor in the world. Let it come out. Clarify the emperor. The emperor. The emperor is clarified with the nine of cups. Yeah. Wish fulfillment. Someone, um, it's like someone is wishing for you. They want this with you. It's just, and you want this with this person. I mean, again, it's destiny. It's just an obstacle in a way. What is this obstacle? Show us more on this obstacle. Yes, yeah, an obstacle in a way for the spiritual union. It's a spiritual union here. Someone had to set themselves free from something. It could have been money. So someone could have been too concerned about money, too concerned about the finances and spirit. Like, that's not what's important. That's why, you know, some in some cases that may be the issue. You know, in some cases, depending on your path, your life journey and everything, all that play a part. But in this particular message, it's letting me know, like, the money, that's going to come. Like, someone could have been too concerned about it, and that's why they kept having issues. But it's like, once they take their concern off of that, then things start flowing a lot better with this connection. And then money end up coming in better, too, for this person or you. However this is, something like that could have been um, played a major part. But let's get obstacles. Show us more on obstacles. What are the obstacles for this connection for Scorpio and this person? Seven of Swords, Deceit, Trickery, Lies. Yep, we have the Seven of Swords that fell on the floor and the Devil. So, yeah, that was the obstacle. Someone could have been um, deceiving someone. Show us more on the Devil and the Seven of Swords with this obstacle. The Hierophant. Oof. Good versus evil is giving me. Show me more on the Hierophant and the devil. The Hermit. Someone, oof. someone could have been haunted by just... Someone just had like... Someone could have been haunted and could have been having negative thoughts. And this could have... This could have caused a wedge between this union. Um... Someone needed to release someone, possibly a Virgo, show us more. Or someone that they, or a Pisces, either a Virgo or a Pisces needed to be released. Something here, well, this is coming up in an obstacle. Someone could have been, um, someone could have been lying about a marriage. Lying about a commitment as well. Someone could have been married to someone and they didn't tell you or um, they was trying to hide this from you. You may have already known this. You were just waiting on this person to tell you. Or you knew about this or this person did tell you but they didn't tell you everything. It's some things they're withholding and they think you don't know but you know. Or you, you have a, you know, that intuition. You may not know exactly but you know. No, you know. Follow your intuition. Ace of Wands in reverse. Clarify the Ace of Wands in reverse. Seven of Wands. Mm. Yeah, the, so the obstacle is someone need to cut someone out. Protect themselves, their energy, and everything from this person. Someone could be trying to still have sex with someone. And they're just, it's too much toxicity attached to that person. That's what's hindering this connection between you and this person. 
the tower, <clears throat> three of cups, eight of wands, ten of swords. Yeah, it could be some betrayal due to a child or due to the past, a past person could be betraying someone. Someone could have been seeing a dark priest to try to uh, cause some <clears throat> misfortune or cause some type of <sighs> problems in someone's life. And this person, like, so some, 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 whoever this person was attached to or whoever you are attached to, to is strongly picking up a masculine. Masculine could have been attached to someone and it was just not, it was not healthy. Yeah, karmic relationship. Bleeding triggers, turmoil, resentment, lessons, let it go, I love you. Show us a message. Yeah, someone was stabbed in the back. Heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, shock, and attack. Yeah. Show us a message for Scorpio. We have engagement, ring, engagement, partnership, commitment, eternity, completion, and union. As seen, you do have a union here. It's just someone needs to release someone. We have welcoming love, meeting the one, open your heart, getting together, and perfect. So this will be a perfect connection, perfect union. Show us more on this energy for Scorpio. We have sword, the sword and rose, clarity, truth. Yeah, someone need to speak their truth. So if this, if someone was trying to withhold or hide, um, that they were in a connect, a connect, a wet, that someone, someone could have been trying to hide that they were in a relationship or in a marriage, or living with someone, or something like that. Like some, something was hidden, but that's being revealed to you, rather through your dream state or just your intuition. All right. Yes, you're right on it, and don't let this person lie to you and fool you, okay? But I don't feel like they can. It's like the spirit is pushing it to make you realize, or they're pushing this person to tell the truth to you. Because especially if this is if if this is you and this person that's supposed to come together, the truth must be revealed before this can form into this great, perfect relationship. So... Whoever this is that's withholding information, what they fail to realize is that this union is meant to be. So whatever they do bring to light is not going to hinder. If anything, it's going to heal it. It's going to um, it's going to take it to the next step. But it's like spirit is not allowing us to go to the next step because there's a blockage. There's an obstacle. Anything else for Scorpio? Yeah, we got the runner, but it's in reverse. So the runner, the runner is not going to run no more because they were just ru running from the truth. And it was their truth. They was running from their own truth. So that, that they just needed to reveal to you or whatever. But um, the runner is in reverse. Someone does not want to run anymore because they see this connection or they see it for what it is. Or spirit is forcing this person to see this for what it is. Or forcing you. Uh, we have sabotage, rebuilding, interrogation, repetitive, persistent, working on it. So whoever this is, they're being forced to work on their behavior and work on um, being clear and being, I mean, being truthful with you. So this can bring in stability, security, growth, endurance, flexibility. Okay, so this is needed very much so. Um... Someone just needs to open up and tell you the truth. So communication is needed. Someone needs to just tell you, like, look, you know, this is what it is. It's been hard for me to tell you, but this is what it is. They're going to feel so much better, and you're even going to feel so much better. I'm not even getting, like, mad, oh, why you just didn't tell me then? Because it's been so much time that's been going on. Like, it, it's just, I don't, I, not with this. If this connection was... Maybe a, a karmic connection for you and this person. Then yeah, but for this to be a spiritual union, it's, there's it got to be some type of understanding. Even though you feel like it's not right, but at the same time, you're like, look, I understand. But just don't do that again. <laughs> like, tell me what it is. Vice versa. Okay? But that is it, Scorpio, at this time at least.
Take it however it resonates for you. If this is at all your message at this time, it's definitely for some. Um, and uh, join me in Patreon for more if you want um, to be a part of the extended reading and other things. Okay. And follow me on TikTok. Don't forget. See y'all later. Many blessings.